Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to put your Chromebook into developer mode. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is quickly kick into a how-to guide on how to get your Chromebook into developer mode. But all the way through this video, I'm giving warnings, very clear warnings, as I'm about to do right now, which is when you put it into developer mode, your Chromebook is then able to install APKs which have not been verified by Google also as well, it'll probably leave your root access wide open as well. So all of them things combined there, or both of them two things combined there, can lead to a lot of serious problems with your Chromebook. So only do this if you know exactly why you're doing it and what you're doing it for. And the other thing as well to be aware of is that as soon as you go into developer mode, Every single thing on the Chromebook gets wiped out because it does a complete refresh of the Chromebook. So also bear that in mind. What you really should have done before you do anything like this is to back off the Chromebook either to the cloud for any data files that you have, such as pictures, audio, or anything data-wise, or have it already backed off on a USB stick or an external drive or something like that. Okay, so now into how to do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is quickly show how to put your Chromebook into developer mode. So what you have to do is hold down two buttons whilst you switch on the power mode, and those two buttons are the escape key and the refresh button. So here is your escape key up, up here, and here is your refresh button. The refresh button is just like a little circle with an arrow in it. So what we're gonna do is hold down escape and the refresh key, and then switch on the Chromebook. Now this might just take a few seconds depending upon what kind of system you're running and whatnot. But as we can see, this is now switching on. Now what it's saying here is Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert a recovery USB stick or SD card. Don't worry about that. That's got nothing to do with what we're about to do. That is just gonna be its bog standard response at this point during this particular boot sequence. So what we need to do now is hold the control key and the D key on the keyboard, which is obviously control key here, D key here. So hold them two together. Now it's saying to turn OS verification off, press enter. Your system will reboot and local data will be cleared. And then it's saying also to go back, press escape. Okay, so what this is basically telling us is we are now about to enter developer mode or in the terminology used on the screen to turn OS verification off. Now, two important things here. First one is all this data that's on the machine at the moment will get wiped out, all of it. So that's your apps and any data or files that are on there. Because this isn't just a simple switch from developer mode to non-developer mode. It actually reformats and does a lot more than just that. So basically, make sure before you do this, you've got files backed off that may be on the system and not maybe in the cloud or backed off anywhere else. So be aware of that. The second thing as well is that what's gonna happen here, you're about to put your Chromebook into a mode where it allows you to install software such as APKs and also make changes to the system, you know, to do with its root functions and stuff, which are not verified or passed by Google or the Play Store. So just bear in mind that because of that one thing, you definitely will be opening up your Chromebook to the potential of problems. And that can range from all kinds of stuff to damaging the system or to even loading in viruses and such. So make sure you know all this before you go ahead and do it. Anyway, so I'm assuming the reason why you're doing this is because you already know that. So with them warnings in mind, what we're gonna do now is just press enter. So now what's gonna happen is the Chromebook is gonna switch off and it'll switch back on. And what I'll do, I'll kind of probably speed through some of these things because some of it can get a little bit boring and long-winded. Okay, so OS verification is off. Press space to re-enable. Well, we don't want to re-enable, so we're just going to hit Control D again. Okay, now it's saying your system is transitioning to developer mode. 
uh, local data is being cleared. Modifications you make to the system are not supported by Google, may cause hardware issues and may void warranty. To cancel, turn your computer off. Well, as you can see, that's just given us ample warning that we're about to do stuff here, which is not guaranteed or which Google won't guarantee is gonna be free of any viruses or issues. So at that point, yes, you can still back off if you want, but what it's gonna do now, as we can see, it's just gonna carry on going through and there's a countdown in the corner of the screen up here to tell us what this is doing. So what I'm gonna do now is fast forward through this countdown and get to the next stage. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just let this go through the last 10 seconds of its kind of reformatting and such, just to show you exactly what it's going to do. Okay, so now that's just gone through that routine and now it's switching back on. Now what it's telling us is that we are in OS verification is off mode. So what will happen here, it will start beeping at some point if you leave it too long and then it will continue into the operating system. But what you need to do every time you switch on, you'll see this now when you're in developer mode. So simply just hold, there we go, there's the beeps, just hold control and D and then it'll skip past that message and then it'll go straight into the operating system. Now, as we'll see here, this is now gonna go into kind of like a first setup scenario. Let's see, hold on. Okay, so there you go. So that's now just doing a normal welcome to a new installation. So from here on in, what you now do is just go and put in your information and then you are in developer mode. Another thing as well that might be worth noting here, I've had my power supply plugged in all the way through this. I would recommend you do the same as well, or at least have it on full battery, because the last thing you don't want to happen here is for the machine to actually start like, you know, unpowering during that process, because I'm not too sure what it'll do, but it probably won't be anything good. Okay, so there we have it then how to put your Chromebook into developer mode. And for one last boring time, I just wanna reiterate the point once again that all the files will be deleted. Make sure that anything you have that's important is backed off. And more importantly, on top of that, once it is in developer mode, it will allow you to install APKs that are not verified by Google. And also it will potentially leave the root access open for all kinds of nasty things to go on. So bear all that in mind and definitely don't do it unless you know exactly what's going on. Okay, so with all of that boring stuff out of the way, it's time for me to get off and have a play with my Chromebook and my Nvidia Shield and a few other Android boxes and devices because I'm doing some nutty stuff with them. So the last thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.